Hey guys, we are going to be talking about different types of angles. We're going to talk about right angles, acute angles, and obtuse angles, and kind of what those mean. Um, now before we begin, I'm going to just quickly remind you that angles are when two lines meet together at one point. So we have two line segments, or sorry, mostly they're mostly rays, so they start at a point, they have one ending point, and then they just keep on going. So there's two lines that meet together, meet together. These are called intersecting lines, um, and there's also perpendicular lines we're gonna talk about. Remember the different types of lines? Another one was parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that just keep on going and they never touch each other. My two arms are showing you parallel lines, but these are intersecting lines and perpendicular lines that do meet together at one point. So let's look at some examples of these different types of angles. So this right here is a right angle. A right angle is 90 degrees. So if you can see here, this is called a protractor and it shows you that the one line here is at zero, the other line goes straight up to 90. And if you look, the two lines that meet are at a right angle are perpendicular. That's the word to describe them. They are perpendicular. And the two lines meet to make exactly 90 degrees, which can make a perfect little square. So the way I remember this is that right angles are just right to make a square right there. Okay. Next one are acute angles. Acute angles are less than 90 degrees. So we remember right angles are exactly 90 degrees. Acute angles are anything less than 90 degrees. So here on our protractor, we have zero and 70. That 70 is less than 90. So we know that this angle is acute. 40 degrees, that is less than 90. So it's acute. 20 degrees is less than 90 degrees. So it's acute. 75 degrees is less than 90 degrees. So we know that it's acute. I remember it because acute kind of sounds like a cute. And I think of a cute little puppy, a cute little baby, anything small I think is cute. And these angles are smaller than 90 degrees. So they are uh, cute. <laughs> the next one we have is obtuse. I always think of obtuse as obtuse, like really big giant. And these are greater than 90 degrees. So remember our right angle was 90 degrees. So these obtuse angles are greater or bigger than that, but they're still less than 180 degrees. If you look, we have 180 degrees right here and that would make an one just straight line. It's not quite an angle anymore, it's one straight line. So that's 180 degrees. So our obtuse angles are anything from here down to here. So 110 is greater than 90, but still less than 180, so it's obtuse. 170 degrees is greater than 90, still less than 180, so it is also obtuse. All right, so this is, let's look at these. Right angle, acute, or obtuse. What kind of angle is this? If we look at it, it's not quite straight up and down like a right angle. It's not smaller than a right angle, so it must be obtuse because it seems pretty big, big and open, so it's obtuse. Here, this one, if you look at it, it kind of looks like these lines come together and meet where you could make a square here. So that must mean that it's a right angle. Even though it's not straight up and down, it's still a right angle. This one, the opening is kind of tiny. It's less than 90 degrees, so we know that it must be acute. Here, makes an L shape. It must be a right angle because you could put a square in between. This one's smaller than that L shape, so it must be acute. This one's really big and open, big open mouth. It's bigger than a right angle, so it must be obtuse. And finally, this one, if you actually look closely, you can't exactly make a square, so it must be obtuse. All right, guys. I hope that you had fun learning about the different types of angles. Bye.